stay out of the sun. Protection. Oh, you might get plenty of sleep. Ready for this? We're both gonna say it. Use NASA FMD skincare, Home Shopping Network. Best skincare advice is. Okay, he's not gonna say he's gonna do some. Don't use NASA FMD oh, Shut skincare. up. <laughs> no, I mean, we both have our own skincare. I have Consult Beauty, which is huge. His is on life support. No, I'm kidding. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Uh, best, best skincare advice is, there's no question about oh, it. Yeah, it's, okay. it's, it's SPF. Yeah. It's, it's sun protection. Pressure. And hydration, anything that really hydrates your skin. Right, but you wanna put on 50 or above, and you wanna put it on every hour to hour and a half. Number one, skincare. Um, smoking, stop smoking, because that destroys your skin. And the other thing is what you're gonna do well, with the sun? Well, you keep your weight steady. If you want your skin to, to stay tight and looking good and not stretch out, keep your weight steady. And, and you know what though, at the same point, if you're gonna do small things now, um, one of the non-invasive procedures that you know you can go to your dermatologist, plastic surgeon's office, start at a good age so you can do small things to keep your collagen nice and toned. They don't do their research. Or they do it for the, the best price. Don't do plastic surgery because it's a bargain. Yeah. Um, biggest mistake is ask your doctor, are you allowed to do this procedure in the hospital? Because if you are, that means the doctor is board certified in that specialty. 50% of the plastic surgery done in this country is done by non-plastic surgeons. Same thing. Um, Sun avoidance. Sun avoidance, hydration. The other thing, let's talk about, should we talk about a little bit of Botox then? I think if you're someone who's constantly frowning, for example, and you get the 11s, or you're constantly raising your eyebrows. Start early. And you might have, want to start a little bit early to break those habits, because yeah. by doing that, you will get the wrinkles. The best part of being a doctor is being able to use your skills and your experience to help people. But even more important, the best part about being the botch doctor yeah is being able to use this amazing, incredible experience that the universe has given us and Botch has given us to apply to problems that are impossible, that were impossible to us before and are impossible to all the other plastic surgeons because nobody gets to do these cases day in and day out. So we're helping these patients that thought they could never get helped. Yeah. And we're achieving a pretty good amount of success. And that appreciation and gratitude yeah. and the feel good that we got out of it, there's nothing like it. So we are very lucky that we have botched and we hope it goes on for, you know, so that means all, everyone who's watching this, please keep watching botch. We want to keep going. We want to keep helping people. And the other best part about being a plastic surgeon, not in my case, but in this case is the Ferrari. We love the Ferrari.